Most of us grew up learning there are four oceans. Then some of us were told five. But here's the twist. The real answer depends on how you define a body of water. Today, most maps and scientists say there are five. The Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, Arctic, and the Southern Ocean. That fifth one, the Southern Ocean, was officially recognized in 2000. Not because something new was discovered, but because scientists realized it's defined by a powerful current encircling Antarctica, not by land. And that points to a bigger question. What actually defines an ocean? It's not just about size. Oceans are vast, deep basins of salt water, resting on dense oceanic crust. They're connected by global currents and share a fairly consistent salinity. Seas, on the other hand, are smaller and often partly enclosed by land like the Mediterranean, Caribbean, or Red Sea. They can differ in color, saltiness, and even temperature, but they're all part of that same continuous ocean system. And that's why many oceanographers now argue there's just really one global ocean, a single interconnected body of water that wraps around the whole planet. But this idea of dividing the world's waters isn't new. The ancient Greeks and medieval travelers talked about the seven seas, though the list of the specific seven seas kept changing. In some eras, it meant the Mediterranean and its neighbors. Today, some people use it to describe seven oceanic regions, the North and South Atlantic, North and South Pacific, Indian, Arctic, and Southern. So the question, how many oceans are there? Are there four, five, seven, or one? The answer depends less on the water itself and more on how we choose to define them.